Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way of carrying out Wikipedia link building. Uh, there's loads of tutorials online that will run you through 30, 40 minute videos, even some are an hour long, showing you how to get links on Wikipedia, and they take forever, and there's just no point taking that long on your links, because this is a really quick and easy method, it takes literally one or two minutes to carry out, uh, and once it's there, the majority of the time the links do stick, some of them don't, some of them do, uh, but the fact that it takes such little time means that you do find that you're going to get a lot of successful links on Wikipedia that do stay for a long time. I've had a lot of success with it uh, in the past as well. So you should head down to Wikipedia first and create an account. So this doesn't have to be a branded account or your actual name, it could be anything. So for this example, I'm going to put John Smith with a lo load of numbers on there. Uh, throw in a password, so anything random, a bit wrong. Uh, and then just confirm your password and then leave the email section blank because you don't need that. And then all you have to do then is fill out this little capture at the bottom. So I'm just built, there we go. Uh, once that's done, you just hit create your account and then that's literally it. So you've created your account there and the next thing you need to do once it's loaded, it's currently taking a bit of time. There we go, right, so it's loaded now. Um, so you need to head back onto Wikipedia, that was just one that I was doing earlier on in this example. Um, and you've got a little search box up here in the top right. Uh, so this is where you search for your niche. Uh, you can't be too general with this. For example, if you want to put a link on an athletics page, you can't just type in athletics because then you're going to get the actual athletics page. And the likelihood is that that's been edited really recently and the link's just going to take away straight away. So you need to be a bit more specific with, uh, with what you're looking for. So if you do have an athletics website, for example, you just type in athletics uh, tournament, for example. So as you can see, uh, there's going to be a lot of different athletics tournament pages on here for the athletics tournaments that have happened in the past. So you just need to search that and you should return a list uh, like this one here. Here we go. So as you can see, here's a bunch of Wikipedia pages that are actually um, promoting athletics, page, uh, athletics championships and tournaments and that kind of thing. Uh, you scroll down to the bottom and you can select 500 here and that'll give a massive list of them instead of just a small list uh, so you can go through. And the key with this really is trying to find a page that hasn't been edited for a long time. So as you can see this here has been edited, what, three or four months ago? So quite recently, which means there's a likelihood that the page is quite well monitored and people are actually going on there a lot to check the links that are being uh, actually entered onto the page. But if you scroll down, you find one, I tend to look for them that are about a year and a half, two years old. Uh, tends to be a good time. So there you go, July 2014 should be okay, it's about a year and a half old. And this page is about a stadium that athletics is carried out on, so that's absolutely perfect, completely relevant for what I'm doing. So then when you're actually on the page itself, uh, it's literally as simple as finding the references tab here. Uh, it's usually down below uh, on, the, on the actual page, but as this page is quite small, it's just up here in the middle. Uh, and just click in edit on there, like so, and then it'll load up with a screen. Uh, and then as you can see, there's one link on there already, uh, but if you press on references and you start to get the uh, mouse here and press enter, you'll see that you then have the space to add in your website. Uh, so for example, I'm going to use this athleticstournamentexample.com, which isn't actually a URL, but if I were to have it, it would obviously be relevant for this page. Uh, press paste in there, and then as you can see, your link has appeared in the references. Uh, and then you don't have to do anything else with it then. All you have to do is head over to the top right and press save page. This box will appear, uh, and as you can see, it says briefly describe your changes. It says there that you've changed it in the references, so that's fine. The only other thing that you have to do is click this is a minor edit and press save page. And then it's literally that simple. So as you can see, it's taking me, oh, I need to add in this capture here. Uh, this is probably the hardest part of the whole process, adding in the capture. There we go. Press save. And as you can see, the link is then appeared on the site. It is a no-followed link, so, you know, it's not going to add uh, too much power. But what it does do is add a lot of trust. It's obviously Wikipedia is a very trustworthy site. And if you've got Wikipedia links in your link profile, obviously not too many because you don't want it to be uh, over-optimized. But if you, if you have some Wikipedia links in your profile, in your link profile, it's obviously very powerful. Uh, in terms of uh, adding trust to your website. Not so much power, but trust uh, nonetheless. So it's literally that simple, guys. Uh, you can rinse and repeat this process and probably do about 10 a day for different sites if you want to. Uh, but I do advise that you don't do um, more than one per account, as obviously there's no point, because if one were to get uh, taken down for whatever reason, then there's more of a likelihood of them all getting taken down if they're all under one name. Uh, so I'd probably tend to stick to doing uh, one account per link, and then obviously making a new account. So if I were to do another one straight after this, for example, I just log out and uh, create a new account for myself and uh, go from there. That's about it, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Like I said, something.